Hey, welcome back to another episode of the English Hustle podcast. I'm your host, Alex. And I'm your co-host, Maria. We're so glad to have you join us today. In today's episode, we're going to dive into a topic that I think many of us can relate to, finding balance in life. We'll be discussing the importance of balance, how to identify key areas in your life that need balancing, setting priorities, creating a balanced routine, practicing self-care, and overcoming challenges. You know, Maria, this topic really hits home for me. A few years ago, I was juggling a demanding job, trying to maintain my social life, and also squeezing in time for hobbies. It got to a point where I felt completely overwhelmed and burnt out. I remember you telling me about that. For me, it was balancing my studies, part-time work, and family commitments. It was tough, and I often felt like I wasn't doing enough in any area. Exactly. That's why we thought it would be helpful to share our experiences and the strategies we've learned to find balance. Hopefully, our listeners can benefit from our stories and tips. Segment 2. Understanding Balance Number 1. Definition and Importance So let's start by defining what balance in life actually means. Essentially, Balance is about distributing your time and energy among various aspects of your life in a way that allows you to function effectively and feel fulfilled. That's right. It's not about giving equal time to everything, but rather about giving appropriate time to the things that matter most to you. Balance means making sure you're not neglecting important areas like health, relationships, work, and personal interests. Number two, benefits of balance. Achieving balance is crucial for our well being. When we're balanced, we tend to be happier and less stressed. Our mental health improves because we're not constantly overwhelmed or stretched too thin. And it's not just about mental health. A balanced life also leads to better productivity. When you're not overworked or stressed, you can focus more effectively on your tasks and get things done more efficiently. Plus, maintaining balance strengthens our relationships. When we allocate time for family and friends, it helps us build and sustain meaningful connections, which are vital for emotional support and happiness. Overall, balance enhances our quality of life. It allows us to enjoy our achievements, savor our moments, and live a more harmonious and satisfying life. Segment 3. Identifying Key Areas Number 1. Work-life balance. Let's dive into one of the most challenging aspects of balance, work-life balance. Balancing professional and personal life can be tricky, especially with demanding jobs or when working from home. One effective strategy is setting clear boundaries. For example, designate specific work hours and stick to them. Once work hours are over, Focus on personal time without letting work encroach on it. Prioritization is also key. Identify the most critical tasks that need your attention and focus on them. Delegating tasks and saying no to additional responsibilities when you're stretched thin can also help maintain balance. And don't forget to schedule breaks. Taking short, regular breaks during work can help you recharge and prevent burnout. It's essential to make time for relaxation and hobbies that you enjoy outside of work. Number two, health and wellness. Moving on to health and wellness. Physical and mental health are the foundations of a balanced life. 
Without them, it's hard to maintain balance in other areas. Absolutely. Incorporating regular exercise into your routine is crucial. It doesn't have to be intense. Simple activities like walking, yoga or stretching can make a big difference. Nutrition is another important factor. Eating a balanced diet helps maintain energy levels and overall health. Avoid skipping meals and try to include a variety of nutrients in your diet. Mental health is just as important. Practices like mindfulness, meditation, and ensuring you get enough sleep can significantly impact your mental well-being. If you're feeling overwhelmed, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Number three, social and family life. Lastly, let's talk about balancing social and family life. Social connections and family support are vital for emotional well-being. It's important to allocate quality time for family and friends. This might mean scheduling regular family dinners, planning outings, or simply making time to talk and connect with loved ones. Balancing social activities is also crucial. It's okay to say no to social engagements if you need some personal time to recharge. Finding the right balance between social interactions and personal downtime can enhance your overall well-being. Don't forget to make time for yourself, too. Personal time is essential for self-reflection and pursuing interests that make you happy. Whether it's reading a book, pursuing a hobby, or just relaxing, ensure you dedicate time for yourself. Segment four, setting priorities. Number one, identifying priorities. One of the first steps to finding balance is identifying what is most important to you. This can vary greatly from person to person. Start by listing all the areas of your life that require your time and attention, such as work, family, health, hobbies, and social life. Once you have your list, rank these areas in order of importance. It's also helpful to set specific goals for each priority. For example, if family time is a priority, you might set a goal to have dinner together as a family three times a week. Number two, time management. Effective time management is crucial to ensuring your priorities are met. One technique is to use a planner or digital calendar to schedule your time. The Pomodoro technique can be useful for managing time effectively. It involves working in focused intervals, usually 25 minutes, followed by a short break. This can help you stay productive and avoid burnout. Another method is time blocking, where you allocate specific blocks of time for different activities or priorities. This helps ensure you dedicate enough time to each important area without neglecting others. Number three, avoiding. Overcommitment. Overcommitting is a common issue that can throw your life out of balance. Learning to say no is essential. Evaluate your commitments and obligations regularly. If you find that you're consistently overwhelmed, it may be time to reassess and reduce your commitments. Be realistic about what you can handle. It's better to undercommit and overdeliver than to overcommit and fall short. Managing expectations is also crucial. Communicate clearly with others about what you can realistically achieve and set boundaries to protect your time and energy. Segment 5. Creating a balanced routine. Number 1. Daily routines. One of the best ways to achieve balance is to create a daily routine that includes time for work, rest, and leisure. 
Start your day with a morning routine that sets a positive tone, such as exercise, meditation, or a healthy breakfast. Throughout the day, schedule regular breaks to rest and recharge. This can help prevent burnout and keep you productive. Include leisure activities that you enjoy, whether it's reading, hobbies, or spending time with loved ones. At the end of the day, have an evening routine to unwind and relax. This could be as simple as taking a walk, practicing gratitude, or preparing for the next day. Number two, weekly planning. Weekly planning can provide a broader view of your commitments and help you allocate time for various activities. Set aside some time each week to plan out your schedule, including work tasks, personal time, and social activities. Use tools like planners, calendars, or apps to organize your week. Prioritize tasks and activities that align with your goals and values. Make sure to include time for self-care and relaxation in your weekly plan. This could be a spa day, a movie night, or simply some quiet time to reflect and recharge. Number three, flexibility. While routines are important, it's equally crucial to remain flexible. Life can be unpredictable, and being able to adapt to changing circumstances can help maintain balance. If something unexpected comes up, don't be too hard on yourself. Adjust your schedule as needed, and remember that balance is about finding a healthy flow, not rigid perfection. Build in buffer time in your routine to accommodate unforeseen events or tasks that take longer than expected. This way, you won't feel stressed or rushed when changes occur. Flexibility also means being kind to yourself and allowing room for spontaneity. Sometimes the best moments in life are unplanned, so leave space for those opportunities. Segment 6. Self-Care and Relaxation Number 1. Importance of Self-Care Self-care is essential for maintaining balance in life. It involves taking deliberate actions to nurture your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. When we prioritize self-care, we replenish our energy, reduce stress, and improve our overall health. It helps us to be more resilient and capable of handling life's demands. Number two, self-care. Practices. There are various self-care practices you can incorporate into your routine. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation and deep breathing exercises, can help you stay present and reduce stress. Engaging in hobbies and activities that you enjoy is another form of self-care. Whether it's painting, gardening, reading, or playing an instrument, doing something you love can boost your mood and provide a sense of fulfillment. Physical exercise is a powerful self-care practice. Regular physical activity not only keeps your body healthy, but also releases endorphins, which can improve your mood and reduce stress. Don't forget about the importance of rest and relaxation. Ensure you get adequate sleep each night and take breaks throughout the day to rest your mind and body. Number three. Preventing Burnout Burnout is a state of chronic stress that can lead to physical and emotional exhaustion. It's important to recognize the signs of burnout early, such as feeling constantly tired, overwhelmed, or detached. To prevent burnout, make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine. Schedule regular downtime and engage in activities that help you relax and recharge. Set boundaries to protect your personal time. Learn to say no to additional commitments when you feel overextended. 
Regularly assess your workload and delegate tasks when possible. Don't hesitate to ask for help or support from others when needed. Incorporating self-care into your daily routine and being proactive about managing stress can help prevent burnout and maintain a healthy balance in life. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish. It's necessary for your well-being and enables you to be your best self in all areas of life. By prioritizing self-care and relaxation, you can create a sustainable routine that supports your overall well-being and helps you maintain balance in life. Segment 7. Overcoming Challenges Number 1. Identifying Stressors The first step to overcoming challenges and maintaining balance is identifying what's causing stress. Common stressors include work pressures, financial concerns, relationship issues, and health problems. Take some time to reflect on your daily routine and pinpoint moments where you feel overwhelmed or anxious. Keeping a stress journal can be helpful in tracking these patterns and identifying triggers. Once you identify your stressors, you can start to develop strategies to manage them effectively. Understanding the root cause of your stress is crucial in finding long-term solutions. Number 2. Coping Strategies There are various coping strategies you can employ to handle stress and challenges. One effective method is practicing mindfulness and meditation to stay grounded and reduce anxiety. Physical activity is another excellent way to cope with stress. Exercise releases endorphins and helps clear your mind. Even a short walk can make a significant difference. Breathing exercises and progressive muscle relaxation can also help calm your mind and body. Taking a few minutes each day to practice these techniques can lower stress levels. Another strategy is to break tasks into smaller, manageable steps. This makes large projects feel less daunting and allows you to make steady progress without feeling overwhelmed. Finally, don't underestimate the power of a positive mindset. Practice gratitude, focus on your accomplishments, and remind yourself of your strengths and capabilities. Number three, seeking support. It's important to recognize when you need help and to reach out for support. Talking to friends and family about your challenges can provide emotional relief and perspective. If you find yourself struggling to cope, consider seeking professional help. Therapists, counselors, and coaches can offer valuable guidance and support tailored to your needs. Joining support groups or online communities can also be beneficial. Sharing experiences and strategies with others who are facing similar challenges can provide encouragement and a sense of solidarity. Remember, seeking support is a sign of strength, not weakness. It's essential to take care of your mental and emotional health, and sometimes that means asking for help. Building a strong support network can make a significant difference in your ability to overcome challenges and maintain balance in life. Don't hesitate to lean on your support system when you need it. By identifying stressors, employing effective coping strategies and seeking support when needed, you can overcome challenges and maintain a healthy balance in life. Segment 8 real-life examples and success stories. Number one, personal experiences. Finding balance in my life has been a journey of self-discovery and continuous adjustment. When I first started working from home, I struggled to separate work and personal time. I found myself working late into the night and neglecting my hobbies and social life. To overcome this, 
I set strict boundaries for my work hours and dedicated specific times for exercise, relaxation, and social activities. Creating a structured routine helped me maintain a healthier work-life balance and improved my overall well-being. For me, the challenge was balancing my career with family responsibilities. I often felt guilty for not spending enough time with my loved ones or for not being as productive at work as I wanted to be. I learned to communicate openly with my family about my needs and to ask for their support. I also started practicing time management techniques like time blocking to ensure I had dedicated time for both work and family. This approach allowed me to be present and engaged in all aspects of my life, reducing stress and increasing satisfaction. Number two, success stories. One inspiring success story is that of Sheryl Sandberg, the COO of Facebook. Despite her demanding career, she emphasizes the importance of work-life balance. She has shared that setting boundaries, such as leaving work at a reasonable hour to have dinner with her children, has been crucial in maintaining her professional and personal life. Sandberg's approach to balance has been a source of inspiration for many working professionals striving to achieve similar harmony in their lives. Another notable example is Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group. Branson is known for his adventurous spirit and successful business ventures, but he also prioritizes his personal life. He advocates for the importance of pursuing passions outside of work and spending quality time with family. His balanced approach to life has not only contributed to his professional success, but also to his personal happiness and fulfillment. A more everyday example comes from a friend of mine who found balance after a period of burnout. She was working long hours as a teacher and felt overwhelmed by her responsibilities. After seeking advice and support, she started incorporating self-care practices like yoga and meditation into her daily routine. She also set realistic goals and learned to delegate tasks at work. Over time, she regained her energy and found a sustainable balance that allowed her to excel in her career while enjoying her personal life. These success stories remind us that achieving balance is possible regardless of our circumstances. It often requires intentional changes and a willingness to prioritize what truly matters. By learning from others' experiences and applying similar strategies, we can find our own path to a balanced and fulfilling life. Segment 9 tips and takeaways. Today we've covered a lot about finding balance in life. We discussed the definition and importance of balance, identified key areas such as work-life balance and health, talked about setting priorities, creating a balanced routine, and the significance of self-care. We also shared strategies for overcoming challenges and some inspiring real-life success stories. It's clear that achieving balance is crucial for overall well-being and productivity. By understanding what balance means to you personally and implementing the strategies we discussed, you can start to make meaningful changes in your life. Actionable tips. First, identify your priorities. Make a list of what's most important to you and rank them. This will help you focus your time and energy on what truly matters. Second, create a routine that includes dedicated time for work, rest, and leisure. Use tools like planners or apps to keep track of your schedule and stay organized. 
Third, practice self-care regularly. This could be anything from a daily walk to practicing mindfulness or pursuing a hobby. Self-care is essential to prevent burnout and maintain your energy levels. Finally, don't be afraid to ask for support. Whether it's from family, friends or professionals, seeking help when you need it is a key part of maintaining balance. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the English Hustle podcast, leave a review, and share it with your friends and family.